Hi boys and girls, Ms. Schliff here. Today we are going to talk about fables. And our learning target for the day is I can identify the different elements of a fable. Um, today we're going to focus on three important elements that we see and hear in fables. Um, so if you have not done so already, you should have listened to the YouTube video that was linked above this lesson for the hare and the tortoise read aloud. Um, so if you didn't do it, go ahead and go check that out because I will be addressing that fable in my lesson today. So let's just start first with the different elements of a fable and then we'll go back through and talk about um, those elements that are shown um, that we heard in the hare and the tortoise. So the first element that a fable has is that animals are the main characters. So that's our first element of a fable. The second element is that fables are very short stories that teach a lesson. And the third element of a fable is that the theme or lesson may be stated at the end of the story. So usually a fable will tell you what the moral or the lesson was in the story towards the end. Okay, so the elements of a fable are animals are the main characters. It is a very short story that teaches a lesson and the theme or lesson may be stated at the end of the story. So let's go ahead and connect all of these elements to the hare and the tortoise. And if you did not go listen to it yet, go ahead and go to the link that's just above this lesson and listen to the story so you can answer these questions on your own. So the first element um, is that animals are the main characters. So think about it. The hare and the tortoise, not only... Um, are the hare and the tortoise in there, but there's other characters too. They're all animals, right? So this fable has a hare, a tortoise, squirrel, mouse, and a raccoon. So it is full of animals, but we know that the hare and the tortoise are the main characters. So there's our first element. And the second element is that a fable is a very short story that teaches a lesson. So if you listen to the hare and the tortoise, you'll notice that that YouTube video, this fable, is only about four minutes long. It is very short. And all fables are pretty short. And the last element is that the theme or lesson may be stated at the end of the story. Usually fables will tell you what their message is. You don't usually have to guess what it is. Um, sometimes they want you thinking about it, but for example, in the hare and the tortoise, they told us. They said at the end, what did they say? Think about it. Slow and steady wins the race. So that is our third and final element of a fable that we saw in the hare and the tortoise. Okay, so today's learning target was I can identify the different elements of a fable. And we focus on these three elements. If you want to review them, which you should, make sure you look at page 474 in your anthology when you read The Crow in the Pitcher. Um, and it will have these fables listed and I, or not fables, it'll have these elements listed, and I want you thinking about them as you read and looking at the crow in the picture and saying, okay, which element is this? Which element is that? And that will help you better understand fables. All right, thanks, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.